Shake, shake, shake. That's pretty cool. Take the depth. Magic World Tour announcement. We will be in New York City, New York in the United States of America on Sunday, June 3rd, 2018. We will be doing a fan meetup, a meet and greet at Battery Park at 4.30 p.m. Free and open to all ages. The How To Magic meet and greet will be giving away some free merch, taking pictures, signing autographs, and you will be featured in the How To Magic Around The World video. So if you wanna come meet me and the rest of the crew, be in New York Battery Park at 4.30 p.m. on June 3rd, 2018. That's a Sunday. We already had great turnouts for our fan meetups in London, England, and Sydney, Australia. Let's see if New York can top our international destinations. Again, that's June 3rd, NYC, 4.30 p.m. at Battery Park. Hope to see you there. What's good? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, oh, magic. I am your host, Evan Era. Today, I'm showing you seven funny magic pranks that you can do now. Like right now? Yeah. Here's a fun magic prank to play on your friend who has ophiophobia. Hey, watch out my magic wand here. <laughs> Take your magic wand, shake, shake, snake. Okay, here's the secret of the magic wand to the snake brain. The secret is the snake is actually a giant spring that is covered with snake skin patterned cloth. So you get a little felt tongue here. There's a hole in the front, and that comes into play later. Googly eyes there. There's a giant spring that runs all the way down the length of this. And then we have this little pin right here. The magic wand is actually hidden inside the snake. So all we have to do is compress the spring. Here's where the hole in the front comes into play. So you can compress it all the way down into your hand like this. And if you look down here on the base of the wand, there's a hole hole that goes all the way through the wand right there. Now what we're gonna do is take this little pin on the bottom and it actually holds the spring snake together so that you can leave this in your magic kit. It's already set up, good to go. Then you can take this out when you're ready to do your performance and you pull the pin kind of like a grenade and now the spring snake is primed and ready to go. You just want to make sure this is concealed in your hand like this so that from the front to your audience it just looks like you're holding your magic wand. You can then shake it back and forth a couple times and then when you're ready all you have to do is let pressure off your hand the spring will pop out, hiding the wand inside of the snake. And it happens so quickly that it'll definitely scare anyone who's standing right next to you, especially if they're afraid of snakes. Oh, and your snake obsession. Stay tuned until the end of the video for a magic spring snake giveaway. Now you know the secret of the magic wand to the snake prank. This next one is our How To Magic Trick of the Week. Brought to you by HowToMagicShop.com. Amazing and easy tricks to take your magic from mundane to mesmerizing with HowToMagicShop.com. All products are available with worldwide shipping. Check out the link in the description of this video. Here's a fun food prank to play on someone who loves vegetables. Check it out. Hey V, you like cucumbers, right? <laughs> Why do you have these? I grew one. It's from my garden. Seriously? Yeah, take a bite. <laughs> Here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple. I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, here is what you need to pull off the cucumber snake prank. This is how you set this up. You're gonna start out, you need a big cucumber. Then you also need a rubber snake. It needs to be one of these really flimsy, kind of soft rubber snakes, not one of the hard plastic ones. You're gonna start off by cutting the cucumber right about in the middle. You're only gonna use half of it. The other part, you're gonna conceal it in your hand so it looks like a smaller cucumber. Your next step is to hollow out the cucumber. So you're just gonna continue hollowing out your cucumber. You can use a drill, a knife, however you need to do it. It is a tedious process. Process. So once you've got your cucumber fully hollowed out and you want to do it all the way down to the tip so that the head of your snake will rest in the end of the cucumber so that when they bite into it, 
the snake comes out. So your next step is to feed your snake up into the cucumber. Now the entire snake is not gonna fit up inside the cucumber since you're only using half of it. So you're gonna conceal the rest of the snake in your hand. Next step is to walk up and offer them a bite of your cucumber and they get snake instead. Who says you can't play with your food? Here's a sweet magic trick that quickly turns sour. Check it out. All right, so I know I've hit you with some uh, pretty mean pranks so far. I'm going to make up for it now with a nice magic trick. Take okay. a match and strike it. Watch the match. Oh, that's fun. It's real. You want to smell it? Is it really real? Yeah. Roses are red, violets are blue. Want to know the secret? Here's what you do. Okay, here is the secret behind the magic match to the rose trick. First things first, this is not a real rose. It's not a real flower, it's a fake flower. It's made of plastic and fabric. It's a little metal wire right here. It's a little spring-loaded hinge. So all you do is pull this back and it's gonna latch right here under this little lip. And then when we want, we can push it to the side and it's gonna let that flower spring up like that. So we're gonna latch it right here, flip it down, and then we're gonna take a match and we're actually gonna put it right here in this little hole. It's like a coupling for the match. So all we do is hold it like this between our forefinger and our thumb, just like that. And now you're gonna conceal the flower in your hand so that from the front, it looks like you're just holding a match. Now all you have to do to deploy the flower is simply press on the side of it right here with your middle finger and it will spring upward. And it happens so fast that you can't really see it. It looks like it just magically appears. And what happens at the same time is the flower coming up actually puts out the match. So two things happen simultaneously in this trick. The flower appears and the match's flame is instantly put out. Looks like it just magically changes from a match to a rose. It's a super cool magic prop that you can win at the end of this video. And now you know the secret setup of the magic match to the rose trick. Here's a classic old school prank you can pull off at a moment's notice. Check it out. I know the pranks have been a lot today. I can't trust you. Are you kidding? <laughs> you wouldn't do that because I would, we're about to film. I'm filming right now, so. That was the trick? Yeah. Are you messing with me? <laughs> Ah! Woo! <laughs> the secret is super simple. Here's how it's done. Okay, here's what you need for the marker trick. You need a marker or a pen. All you're gonna do is take the marker, and when you go to marker on their face, you're gonna put your finger over the tip of the marker so that you do not mark on their face, and all they feel is the tip of your finger touch their face, which is gonna trick their mind into thinking that you touch their face with the marker. It's a quick, fun prank that you can do at school or the office. Always best to do with a permanent marker, then people will really freak out thinking that they're gonna have a mark on their face for a long time. And it's a completely harmless and guilt-free prank because the whole prank is tricking them into believing believing that you actually made a mark when you really didn't. Sometimes the only thing better than pranking someone is making them think that you did. For this card trick prank, you're gonna take cutting the deck to a whole new level. Take a look. Wanna play some cards? Yeah. I'll play poker. Uh, here, you wanna open I'm not good at poker. Uh, you want me to cut the cards? Yeah. I can actually cut them Four. while they're still in the box. No. Watch. Sit! <laughs> if you open the deck, you'll actually see I already cut them in the box. You didn't even just open the door. explanation to this one is pretty cut and dry. For this one, you're gonna make it look like you magically cut a deck of cards in half. This is a special deck of cards called the Split Deck. It's just a deck of standard playing cards that have been cut in half. A lot of different things you could do with this. Tell your audience member that you can cut the cards while they're still in the box. They're gonna think you mean cut the cards like this, but you actually mean cut the cards in half. Stay tuned until the end of this video if you want to win a magic split deck of your own. Now you know the whole truth of cutting the cards in half, so you'll be able to do it in a split second. Here's an impossible magic prank to pull off at the pool hall. Take a look. So we have a pool table, we just need a pool cue. I actually have one in my pocket. Right here. 
the secret to the Magic Pool Cue is that this is not a normal pool cue. It's actually collapsible. So you start off with it like this in your pocket, and then all you have to do is pull up, and it looks like the cue is just magically appearing from within your pocket. It's a cool way to create the illusion of an object that's just way too big being pulled out of a space that's too small to contain it. It's super easy to do. All you have to do is put it in your pocket and pull out, and the cue magically extends and looks like it just magically appears out of nowhere. The appearing pull cue is actually made up of six telescoping layers. As you pull out, each one locks into the next and pulls out like this this to create the full length of the cube. Then all you have to do is give it a little tug, it'll lock into place and then you can actually shoot pool with it. You can also make it disappear putting it back into a briefcase or into your pocket and it all retracts into the handle. They all fit into one another. Everything's stored neatly inside. Stay tuned until the end of the video if you want to win the magic appearing pool cube. That's it for the appearing pool cube. Another fun magic prank coming up next. Okay, I have a cool trick to show you. This one requires you to be blindfolded though. Again. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Good? Can't see anything? No. <laughs> it the secret to the air horn prank. Pretty self-explanatory here. You just get a little air horn and a blindfold, get a willing participant, convince them that you're gonna do a magic trick, blindfold them. It works best on somebody who's really jumpy. And then you just give your air horn a quick chirp. Super funny and easy magic prank that you can do right now. And if you don't have an air horn, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm gonna give one away. All right, guys, that is it. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone who you think might like it. You can find me on all social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. All right, guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the magic prank props from this video. Giving away the wand to snake trick, giving away a rubber snake, the match to rose trick, the magic split deck, the appearing pool cue, and an air horn to lucky comments in the comment section down below. So all you have to do to win the giveaway is give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and be subscribed to Evan Era TV. Okay, guys, it's time to announce the giveaway winner from the last How To Magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send me an email to this email address right here. That is evaneratv.giveaways at gmail.com. Include your full mailing address to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave your comments in the comment section down below. If you missed the last episode of How To Magic, it's right over there. Tap the subscribe button down there and turn on your notifications so you see all of our videos. If you want to grab some merch and support the channel with our online shop, it is right down there as well. Evanera Vlogs, my second channel on YouTube, a link for that as well. Go subscribe there. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.